Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude. We're back today with another deck opening. Let's go a little bit different here. Let's go for the right. Okay, let's see what our houses are going to be. We need something awesome here. I feel like ever since the last patron decks, we haven't seen anything incredible. Let's do it where we can slow it. Yeah, here we go. Slow roll the houses. First one is Untamed. Second house is Brobnar. Let's hope the name doesn't give it away again this time. It's Arl S. Beastus the Fourth. Hmm, well, Beast, Untamed. We don't know what the next house is going to be. Let's hope, let's see, what do we want here? Brobnar, Untamed, either Shadows or Sanctum? It's Mars. <laughs> Last time it was Mars as well. <laughs> I just love that sort of stuff. Okay, well, I was way off. Let's hope we get a decent Mars then. We're starting off with Pan Pakajaga, three power skirmish. Creatures to the left of Pan Pakajaga in the battle line gain skirmish. That's a fun card. Okay, we have two of those. Sweet. Pan Paka Anga. It's the first time I've ever had both of these in a deck. Five power creatures to the right of Pan Paka Anga in the battle line get plus two power. Grasping Vines, Amber on every plate. Return up to three artifacts to the owner's hand. Not quite as good as it used to be because we actually need to remove artifacts now. Chota Hazri, three power, lose one. If you do, you may forge a key at current cost. Bumblebird, one power, alpha. Play, put two plus one power counters on each other from the untamed creature. Aether Spine, Mongrel, three power, hazardous three. After your opponent uses a creature to reap, gain an amber. That's a good card. They're everywhere. Amber never play. Deal two damage to each enemy flank creature. Deal one damage to each enemy creature, not on a flank. Song of Spring, Amber and Every Plate. Shuffle any number of friendly untamed creatures from your hand, discard pile, or battle line back into your deck. Regrowth, Amber and Every Plate. Return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. I hope we finish off with some untamed creatures. Okay, there we go. Grove Keeper. Three power at the end of your turn. Give each neighboring creature a plus one power counter. Wow, there's actually quite a bit of plus power in this untamed so far. This is interesting. You got the Pampaka Anga that does it. You got the Bumblebird that has it. You also got Grove Keeper here increasing power. This could be pretty cool. Glimmer, one power alpha. Play, return a card from your discard pile to your hand. Hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Getting back sometimes there everywhere is pretty nice. Maybe even getting back the Anga. Either one, just so you can either kill things in some way, shape, or form, whether it's through the power or skirmish is cool. Now we are on to Mars. It's Custom Virus. It's an artifact, and whenever you play it, Omni. You sacrifice it, purge a creature from your hand. Destroy each creature that shares a trait with the purged creature. That's pretty interesting. You'll notice that a decent amount of creatures usually have two different traits on it. So you got a human witch here. This will help take care of Sanctum. Let's see here, you got beasts in here, a beast insect and the bumblebird. Human witch also is Chota Hasri. And then uh, the Pampakas are both beasts. But We'll have some other creatures in here. Hopefully we'll find maybe like a scientist creature inside of Mars and that will help take care of Logos. Oh, Lux Lux the Zookeeper, two power elusive. Reap, put an enemy creature into your archives. If that creature leaves your archives, it is put into its owner's hand instead. Great card. Our last deck had this as well. I hope that this is kind of a common theme in this box because I like the Zookeeper quite a bit. Key abduction, Amber, in every plate. Return each Mars creature to its owner's hand. Then you may forge a key at plus nine current cost, reduced by one for each card in your hand. So obviously a big hand is great with this card. See if we can find some ways to fill up our hand. Hypno Beam, play, gain control of an enemy creature. That's a great card. Zizix, Shockworm, three power, one armor. After an enemy creature reaps, you stun it. Xanthix Harvester, three power. He cannot be used while he has a non-Mars neighbor. Reap, gain an Amber. Mm, not that big on that guy. Sky Booster Squadron, 4 power, reap, return it to your hand. Mars needs amber. <laughs> Was the other house this? No, okay, I couldn't remember for a second. We've had a common theme of getting both this and Misery Exploit in all of our decks, so uh, we won't see it this time unless it's a Maverick. Amber W play it. each damaged enemy non-Mars creature captures one from their own side. Mars first, Amber W play it. ready and use a friendly Mars creature. Two of those, give me a Collector Worm. Carpet Phylloxum, one amber to every play it. Play, if there are no friendly creatures in play, deal four damage to each creature. And two of those. Now we are on to Brobnarit's War Grumpus. Three power, fight, reap, ready and fight with the neighboring giants. Signal Fire, amber to every play it. It's an artifact, Omni. Sacrifice it. For the remainder of the turn, friendly Brobnar creatures may fight as though they belong to the active house. That's a good card. 
Bare handed, Amber whenever you play it, put each artifact on top of its owner's deck. Okay, this is a little bit better than Grasping Vines, simply because we can actually keep an artifact out of play for our, even our opponent's next turn, unless they have the way to draw cards. So this could actually temporarily get rid of a problem artifact like Heart of the Forest and try and get you into a win, so that's not bad. Sound of the horns, Amber whenever you play it, discard cards from the top of your deck until you either discard a Brabnar creature or run out of cards. If you discard a Brabnar creature this way, you put it into your hand. Flame Wake Shaman, 4 power, play, deal 2 damage to a creature. It's nice. Blood Money, place 2 amber from the common supply on an enemy creature. Tremor, stun a creature and each of its neighbors. Grogans, 8 power, when he's used to fight, it can only attack flank creatures. Ganger Chieftain, 5 power, play, you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Give us the drummer knot. Give us the drummer knot. Come on, baby, come on, baby. It's another Ganger Chieftain now. I really want to see it. Come on. Uh-oh, we're not going to get it this time. Calfine 5 power. Before the fight, deal 2 damage to each neighbor of the creature Calfine fights. And one last card in the deck. It's Coward's End. Destroy each undamaged creature. Gain 3 chains. All right, let's go back through this thing. Uh, the Untamed was pretty interesting. I like that we can actually, with the, one of the Pampakas, make all of our creatures have plus 2 power. That's pretty good, considering how beefy our Brabner creatures were to begin with. Let's go ahead and first check out our Amber. So... Yeah, get all this up here. It didn't seem to be too much. Maybe I'm misremembering, though. I know Mars had a decent amount, but overall it felt a little bit lighter. Okay, so let's count it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Call it eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17. Okay, 17 isn't too bad. It's not bad at all, actually. A little bit more than I had expected. I thought it was going to be 14 to 15 range, so I can't complain about that. Sadly, though, some of the cards it's attached to, I mean, Grasping Vines sometimes isn't going to do that much. Song of Spring isn't going to do that much either. Regrowth is obviously good. The rest of these are pretty good. I highly doubt we're going to be forging key off this, so just kind of an amber card. Isn't necessarily always great. Same with these. I feel like we had a decent amount of creatures. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the creatures now. Okay, let's see. Make sure I didn't have any in the amber. I don't think we had any creatures that had amber or anything that could act like one. Okay, no. All right, let's see here. Five. Ten. Fifteen. 19. Okay, that's not bad at all. 19 creatures. I said, I kind of think the best card of this deck is actually this Pampaka Anga. It's probably pretty good in almost every deck it's in. You just got to make sure it's always on the left side of the board. Beef up these guys. Turn these into five power creatures. Even showed a hazard being five power is extremely good. Bumblebird. I mean, all this Untamed is really nice, especially if you can beef it up. Make the Zookeeper four power so a lot of those two damage aren't going to necessarily take it out. That's nice. Yeah, uh, I would love to find ways to get that pan pack, always bring it back. So we at least have regrowth to do that, and you have the one that can return it uh, back into your deck. So you can redraw it again. Too bad we don't have a way to protect it. That would have been pretty good. Uh, we did have two Mars first that actually go with the Zookeeper here, so that's cool. We had no other archives, so once they go to our archives, unless your opponent has a way to deal with it, their creatures are going to be gone. That's really nice. This is pretty much the weakest card in here. Toss that. Yeah, okay, not too bad. I'm not a big fan of War Grumpus. I feel like it just kind of dies. Um, it doesn't really seem to do too much. We did have a decent amount of giants, though. What do we have, like maybe four of them? Two, three, four. Yeah, four giants. So not terrible. Let's kind of look at, for the custom virus, what our creature traits were. So it seemed to be all giants except for, okay, another beast, which we had beast across several other houses. Let's see here. Well, we did hit a scientist, but I don't necessarily want to purge that guy. Let's see what sort of traits we had on the other Mars creatures. So Martian soldier. I can't think of any other soldiers other than Mars right now. Same thing there. Human. We could also use this to take care of Sanctum. Oh, it's kind of a shame. I was wanting to see another scientist just to help take care of some of those crazy Logos cards that are out there. Uh, but you know what? Honestly... There's a, a decent amount of those scientists inside of Logos that human will take care of. So it's not too bad being able to use the Chota Hazri there. Because I highly doubt we're actually going to be able to forge a key off Chota Hazri inside of this deck. It's just not really going to happen. 
So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. I uh, only had the one sort of way to prevent our opponents from reaping. Let's see what other amber control we had in here. I know we had the Mars needs amber. Was that it? Is that all the amber control? Because that's kind of sad if so. And our actual board control was pretty light in here as well. We didn't have multiple ways to even use our older other creatures. It, it kind of seems crazy to rely on the Pampaca Aga, Agma or whatever just to uh, control. Uh, signal fire kind of see here yeah sound of the horns at least helps us get more uh, that could almost count it as a creature honestly it's around 20 creatures inside of here and then okay coward zen that might not be too bad so that's some uh, board control as well tremor okay it's it's a little bit lighter but not terrible uh, the amber control is really bad only having the two not sure how I feel about this thing. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I just don't know if it has the elements for how competitive the St. Louis market is. We just have a lot of really good players out there with some great decks. You need something that's way above average just to compete. You don't need something exceptional, but you need something that's going to have some really powerful combos or, or moves or different things it can do to help slow down your opponent. As far as rating goes for this, it's pretty much a C. It has nothing that's really, really overpowered. It has some great little small synergies, but nothing that's going to really stand out and win you some games against some of the more competitive decks. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.